Hello guys, in this video I am going to show you how to simulate half wave rectifier circuit. So we need a voltage source, diode and resistor. Click on new schematic, go to the component and type voltage. As you see it is highlighted over here. Click OK. I am going to put it here. To get rid of V2, click on escape or right click on your mouse. Then bring the diode, hold down the control K on your computer and press R to rotate it. Then take the resistor and I am going to put it here. Click on wire icon to connect them. And finally at the ground. This is the topology of half-wave rectifier circuit. And the aim of using rectifiers are to convert AC voltage into DC voltage. We have two rectifiers, half-wave rectifier and full-wave rectifier. So in this video we will simulate the half-wave rectifier circuit. Let us apply a sinusoidal signal in the input. Right click on voltage source, click on advanced option, click on sign function. I am going to enter 1 volt for the amplitude and 100 hertz for the frequency. If you want you can enter value for DC offset voltage, delay time and so on. But here I am going to put them as a blank. Click OK. Let us enter 10 ohm for the resistor. Now our circuit is ready to simulate. So from the simulate icon click on edit simulation CMD. For this case we will use the transient. Let us set the stop time to 0 0.05 second. Click OK. Then run the program and a new empty draft will pop up to draw our waveform. If you bring your cursor here and click it, you will get the output waveform, which only half of AC voltage is rectified. For the other half wave, we get zero voltage. Let us also plot the input voltage to see how the output voltage across resistance R is changing. As you can see, this rectifier allows only the positive half cycle. And for the negative half cycle, the output voltage is equal to zero. If you see the peak voltage at the output waveform, it is slightly less than the input voltage. It is because of barrier potential of the diode. For the positive half cycle, the diode is forward bias and the output voltage will drop across the diode. So we need to consider the forward voltage drop across the diode as well. And the output voltage is equal to the input voltage minus the voltage drop across the diode. During negative half cycle, the voltage that appears across the diode will be negative. And it is definitely less than the barrier potential and the diode will remain off and that will act as an open circuit. So the output voltage across the resistor will be zero wherever the input voltage is less than the barrier voltage. As you can also see clearly from the waveform. 
Now let us move to the next part. So far at the output waveform, we have obtained a pulsating DC waveform. This waveform corresponds to a half wave rectifier without a filter. Now let us add a capacitor parallel to the resistor to see how the output voltage will change. I am going to enter one way of forward for the capacitance. Click OK. And run again the circuit. As you can notice that the output waveform is changing and the peak voltage is getting higher. This is because of half wave rectifier capacitor filter. Filters are used to convert a pulsing DC waveform into constant DC waveform and reduce the ripple. As long as we keep the ripple factor lower, we will construct a good rectifier. That is why we use capacitors or inductors as a filter to reduce the ripples in the circuit. During positive cycle, the capacitor will be charged. During negative half cycle, diode is become off and will act as open circuit. Capacitor will not charge it. Instead, it will be discharged through this resistor. So that is what you can see the waveforms. That is all for this video. See you in the next video. If you like it, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button.